Hello everyone, this is Nirmal here for Technic and today we will do the water resistant and scratch test on the new Moto E. So the new Moto E has a 4.5 inch QHD display and it's protected by coating Gorilla Glass. Apart from that it also has uh, the water resistant coating but remember this is not a water resistant phone, there is no IP certification. Uh, but there is water resistant coating so it can take up a certain amount of splash say for example if you are going out and uh, the phone gets drenched in rain then it will not be an issue but if it if you drop the device into water it will not take up uh, uh, that much uh, water resistivity because it is not an IP certified phone so let's quickly see the water resistant and also the scratch test on this device so first let's see the scratch resistant test so we have a, a scissor here so it's a uh, sharp scissor and uh, we'll just uh, uh, scratch on the top of this display and see uh, if it uh, scratches because it has a corning gorilla glass protection so we are doing that so we are just uh, scratching on top of the display so we can see that there is no scratch on the display but remember this uh, corning gorilla glass reprotection can uh, protect your phone only to certain amount of uh, uh, pressure but if you if you scratch on the display with uh, full amount of force it might scratch but uh, uh, just casual uh, scratches uh, like if you if you're using the phone in, uh, if you're keeping the phone in the pocket and uh, your key car keys or your house keys get uh, uh, in contact with the display those kind of scratches will not affect this display because it has corning gorilla glass seal protection so remember if you intentionally scratch on the display with full amount of force it might not be able to take up because and it might scratch so uh, this device can support uh, only minor scratches so that was the scratch test on the new Moto E with uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection. So now let's see the water resistant capacity of uh, the new Moto E. So we'll uh, pour water on this device. We'll not submerge this device because uh, it does not have an IP certification as mentioned uh, previously. So we'll just pour water on this device. So let's see that uh, test. So we have kept the Moto E on a flat surface and we are now pouring water on top of it. So you can see here we are just pouring water. So that's, uh, that's all we have poured water. So now we have cleaned the device uh, with a cloth and you can see here. So it's uh, now powered on so you can see the touch working here without any issue. So that's the water resistant test on the Moto E and looks good. There is no water remaining on top of the screen or uh, on the rear panel so we have cleaned it properly. So that's the water resistant test uh, on the new Moto E. So here's the water test from the front camera on the Moto E. So now we have uh, seen the scratch test as well as the water resistant test on the new Moto E and the Moto E passes uh, in both the tests. But remember two things to remember, you, ca you can't, uh, the device may not be able to take up uh, huge uh, scratches uh, with a lot of pressure that might scratch up and again it, it, the device uh, is not IP certified as I said before. So please do not drop the device into water. It can take occasional uh, water splashes like uh, say if you are using the device in rain that might not be an issue but uh, you cannot use it under water or uh, even in swimming. So that was uh, the quick uh, scratch test as well as a water resistant test on the new Moto E. Hope you like this video. If you like this video do hit the like button and also subscribe to your YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.